Hey guys, Wolverine's here, and welcome back to another What the Yugi, where we take um, strange um, single cards with very weird or powerful text that's very hard to summon, and we try to make a deck out of it. Last time, we haven't been faring too well, um, we didn't fare too well, and obviously we're not faring too well with Dark Magician. Hopefully this week will be a lot different as we revolve on Dark Eradicator Warlock, as well as a little bit of itemized action, but mostly it's the Dark Eradicator Warlock is the star of this show. We're going to try to summon as much as we can and win. So for now, um, I will be back once we get a duel list. Be right back, guys. Hey guys, Wormwind's here with our first duel against Funning Games. Uh, good luck and have fun. And thanks for joining us today. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll go first. Okay, so what do we want to do? Um, let's start with a Magician's Rod. And we'll grab the Dark Magical Circle. Activate the Dark Magical Circle. Um. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> This is a series to build decks around hard monsters. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, this deck is oh, revolved around uh, dark red Cater Warlock. Okay, so let's see here. Um, strike. Um, huh. Well, special summon. Activate. We'll grab Dark Magician, and we'll flip an end. Okay, so let's see what you got, fun and games. Hopefully it's really fun. Oh. Lols. Okay. No, 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 it's good. It's good, it's good. Oh, Magi Specters. Oh, okay. Uh, huh. And Symphonic Warrior Guitar. Discard one card, so she'll summon one Symphonic Warrior deck. Okay. Except Guitar. Okay. Uh, level 3. Uh... Summon Dark Magician. No, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Turn to Soul. And we'll end it there. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Um, huh. Symphonic Warrior. Okay. Dramas, huh? Declare one entry removed from play this card from graveyard. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so in card Garna, uh, Cataster. That's interesting. What's trying to go in reference? Okay, so Eternal Soul. Activate effect. Summon a Dark Magician. Go from the graveyard. Activate Dark Magic Circle. Okay. Um, hmm. 
Let's special summon. We'll activate Eternal Soul, special summon Dark Magician from the graveyard. No. Oh, okay. And that's game. Good game. Okay, so I'll be back with the next duels, guys. Give me one moment. Hi, hi guys. We're running back with the second duel with Vanessa. Uh, good luck. And have fun. And let's start. Oh. Oh boy, what are we looking at here? Magician Drawn. Uh, Dark Magic Circle. Activate Dark Magic Circle. No. Nope. Uh, reveal one Dark Magician card. Uh, one, two. Don't matter because then we're going to Illusion Magic. Grab two Dark Magicians. Set one card and end our turn. Huh, let's see what we can run into here. Hmm, what's she gonna do? Or he. Vanessa could be a guy, could be a girl, don't matter. Yu Gi Oh has no gender preference. Ooh. Ooh. I love zombies. Yee, zombies. Um, let me see here. Come on. What's well, next? Is that zombies or is a surprise for later? I like surprises. I'm going to say it all weird too. I like surprises. Um, but we will be stopping you, my good friend. Uh, no. But I will be banishing your Mizuki, because I know how they work. Okay. Magic attack. No. Activate Eternal Soul. Summon a Dark Magician. No. We'll. There we go. Activate. No. Okay, there we go. Dark Eradicator Warlock. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> come on, what's next? Okay, come on. Let me see here. Play it. Lila. Oh, no, 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 my good friend. We will not be doing the Lila ordeal. No. Yes. We're not going to be dealing with Lila today. I can't stand Lila. Okay. And she surrendered. Okay, so that'll be duel to number two, guys. I'll be back with the next duel in a couple minutes. Give me one moment. Hey, guys. We're in here with our next opponent, Ray Trey. Uh, good luck. And have fun. Come on, let's try to let me... Dang it. Okay. Uh, let's...
let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm going first. Okay. Um, Spell Book of Secrets, Grab Prophecy, Play Prophecy, Grab um, Knowledge. Activate Knowledge, Drop, Draw 2, Special Summon, yes, Grab a Dark Magician, and Set 2. Okay, and end our turn. Uh, let me see here. Um, no. <clears throat> Try some else, my good friend. Okay. Secrets, grab knowledge there. Okay, well, I forgot to change the sleeves. Oh, well, they'll be changed by next time. I feel like it's not going to matter because he has the other fun. He's a fuzzy lanius. Yep. And nope. And we'll grab the last dark magician. We'll flip. Hmm. And he surrendered. Okay, so uh, this the uh, next duel, guys. I uh, will be back with the next duel in one minute. Let's just go ahead and say good game, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're just back with our next opponent, Darlene Fox. Uh, yeah, we'll go first. Good luck and have fun. Okay, so let's go ahead here and start with Upstart Goblin. Spellbook of Secrets. Dark Magic Circle. Normal Summon Prophecy. No. Grab Ruda. Or Knowledge. Play Knowledge. Activate. I'll shuffle up our whole hand and see what we get. Perfect. He 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 he. Opponent's turn. Hmm. 
what we got here. So absorption, okay. Ah, another strategy, okay. Okay. Dip. It's probably even even inconsistent. Holy crap. Well, You sacked a toke? No, he didn't. Never mind. Oh my god. Okay. Is it my turn? Thank you. Why? Spellcaster. I don't care. It's all I want. Come on! Now he's just trolling because he's sitting there waiting forever. Come on. Yo, dude. Let's go. Like, it's a level of pissing me off because he's taking forever to do his job, do what he has to do. Come on. <sighs> like seriously. He's literally dragging the game. We're like at a point where he's just dragging it along as long as he can. Your turn.
Come on, dude. Is it my turn? Okay, come on. Okay. Come on. Okay, that was odd. Come on. Come on, dude. Are we done yet?
It's literally a game of luck now. That one. Nope. I lost. The moment I start my main phase, he's going to chain. I knew it. Good game. Wait, why? To be honest, I misread the card. I thought I lost. Yeah, but there's my new sleeves, guys. Sorry it took a minute to get them. Uh, sorry it took halfway through almost the whole video to get them. But, um, yeah, I'll be back with the next old. Give me one moment. Hey, guys. Warren's here again. So our final opponent, XX underscore, um, XX new kid. Okay. New kid. Okay. Good luck and have fun. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, sink a level nine. Come on. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see here. No, 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 I'm good. Okay. Spell Book of Secrets. Come on. Magician Fraud. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Fuck. Okay. 
Okay. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck me. Ah. Good game. You shut me down. There ain't nothing I can do. You shut me down. Go, go, get your victory. I love this guy. New kid's awesome. Go, go, get your victory. Fuck, if I drew that card, if I only had my one day of peace. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back with the deck recipe. Give me one moment. Hey guys, Wolverine's back and I'm here with the deck recipe. So, how did it fare? Well, before it begins the deck recipe, eh. Kind of okay, actually. Um, a few wins. A couple losses, um, a few epic doles, a couple bail niter, um, nail biters. I remember when I was playing, actually, when I was playing the Grander Golem um, player, I chewed into my nails on every single turn because I was like, oh my god, I got like seven cards left. What am I gonna do? In first turn, seven cards. He had over 20,000 life points. And I'm like, what am I going to do? And I won. And I, I was a nail biter the whole way, and I enjoyed that. Um, so let's look at the deck recipe. Uh, three Dark Magician, namesake of the deck. We gotta have them. Like all the other Dark Magician decks, of course. Uh, two Dark Eradicator Warlock. We've seen Warlock a couple of times, and he's actually fared, uh, burning about a thousand, if not two thousand, a dole. Um, he wasn't in every dole, but he was there. He was there. Um, two Magician of Dark Illusion, obvious choice. Three Apprentice Illusion Magician. Come on, guys, we've been in through this long enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and read out the cards, unless they're new. Um, three Magician's Rod. Um, one spellbook magician of prophecy. So before I saw the um, prophecy engine, and I was like, no, I didn't want to try it. And these past few times, I lost. And throughout these videos, I'm like, I started leaning towards it. It's like I'll try it. Um, I was trying to deviate away from the more meta engine since it's going to be revolving around this guy, and I didn't want to just be copy and paste, replace two cards. Um, I played one maxi. Two Eye of Tamias. I didn't want to play Eye of Tamias. I really didn't want to. I tried not to put him in there, but it's just too good of a card with the new fusion. Uh, I put two Dark Magic Attack, Raigeki, Spellbook of Knowledge. Really good card with Prophecy. 
basically if you use this on any of our spellcasters who draw two cards it's best to be used against either a prophecy when you first get it to get that quick draw or b your dark magician because once you have eternal soul it's basically a free pot of greed uh day one day apiece dark hole upstart goblin magical mer um magical mallet so i wanted a card that could be essential e um either with the Dark Eradicator on the field or without him on the field. And I felt Magical Mallet's good because if I ever get a dead hand, I just have to reshuffle it back in or keep a certain number of cards and reshuffle the rest and draw more and hope for a better hand. Good sometimes, good not sometimes. Sometimes use, sometimes no use. It's a quick draw. It's based off of your, you know, the situation and how you feel. This probably could have been replaced with better other cards. However, I felt with the dead hands I was getting door in practice, it was better that way. Um, two Spellbook of Secrets. Spellbook of Secrets is basically going to allow you to pull a Spellbook from your deck. Either actual Spellbook or a Spellbook Monster where you could start the engine. The best engine I saw was Secrets for Prophecy. Play Prophecy to grab... Um, knowledge and you just plus one on every single one minusing three cards from the deck plus if you use the spellbook and knowledge that turn on your spellbook you just pull two more from the deck as well you just literally plus you just literally removed five cards from your deck in one turn and i feel like that's a big plus because then you get to your hearts faster um the one illusion magic three dark magical circle i felt like three was too heavy but then I was like, it's better to have it than not have it. So I decided to put it in to Eternal Soul as always. Three called the Haunted as always into Solemn Strike. How did I change the extra deck? Well, one, Dark Magician to Dragon Knight. As long as this card's on the field, not only is it considered a Dark Magician, so cards like Thousand Knives, uh, Dark Magic Attack, anything that requires Dark Magician to be on the field works. You also protect your background. Which is awesome. And 3,000 attack. I literally sacrificed two cards for 3,000 attack. I give that an okay situation. Um, one Red Eyes Flare Metal. One number 74. One Draco Sack. One number 11. One, two Ebon Illusion Magicians. Three was just a little too heavy, so I cut down to two. Um, one Ebon High Magician. Why play three or two if I barely touch Ebon? So I went down to one. Uh, one Norito, the Moral Leader. He's great because if I got more Apprentice Solution Magicians and my opponent just can't walk over my monsters, he's great for that Spell and Trap Negation. Photon Striker Bouncer. Again, if I have more Apprentice Solution Magician and the opponent can't walk over my monsters, um, he's good for negating a monster effect and then destroying that card and inflicting a thousand damage. Um, does it destroy it? No, it just negates and inflicts thousand. Still, it's a free thousand damage. Um, one, number 24, Dragulus. Dragulus is really good because if I have something like Dark Magician on the field and he's attached to Call the Haunted, activate Dragulus, flip it face down, flip it back up, it's no longer equipped. Do this to my opponent, flip it face down. Once it's face down, deattach. Then I could... Um, then what I could do is... Um, if this card's flipped face up, I could send one card in the field to the graveyard. So even just flipping your opponent's monsters down, or just flipping you back down and you back up, it's really good. Um, I feel this to be more of like a ghost trick kind of thing, as they're always flipping, but that's okay. One, Maji Maji, Magician Girl, or Magician Gal, excuse my language, it's got to go southern there, Gal. Um, basically... Uh, detach, banish one from your hand, and then either steal an opponent's monster for the rest of their turn, or uh, special summon one monster from your opponent's graveyard, which could be really good, depending on the situation. Um, one, Phantom Knights of Breaker Sword, really good, basically. Detach, target one card you control, one card your opponent controls, nuke them. With Dark Magician, this is a free nuking, because your eternal soul when it comes back, when you bring your Dark Magician back, which you most likely will, and you pair it up with Dark Magic Circle, that three card combo literally not only gave you a plus one, but plus two. Well, you literally went plus one because you had to sacrifice them, but you literally plus one. 
which is really good. Um, one aloe card for the face downs. And one line of Zen mains for protection. And when you destroy it, bam, destroy one card on your opponent's side of the field. Because with this, as long as it um, will be destroyed, detached, it's protected. And then at the end phase, this card will be destroyed. Well, and you use this effect, you can target one field, one card field, pop it. So, this is the Decker Speed. What do you guys think? I think it did a lot better than my last ones. I don't think it's really much of the engine. I think it's because of the lucky hands I got and the fact that I haven't been playing too many competitive players. However, that is up for you guys to decide. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel. Any pluses or minuses. I'll make this deck a lot better. And I do want to thank you for coming along. So, for now, this is the way we're signing out. Later, guys.